Hello there. Welcome to Carstead Partners Packaging Spotlight. Hi, this is Kevin Carstead at Carstead Partners here uh, with Chris Price from uh, the Graphic Art Show Company. Chris, you're in beautiful downtown Chicago getting Kevin. ready for print 13 just around the corner. What's Howdy. happening behind you and what do you got going? I'm telling you, beautiful weather here in Chicago. You know it's September, so you know it's print. This show comes here only once every four years, so anybody in the package printing space has got to come. And I tell you what, we got a great show, as you can see behind me, planned. So, um, buddy, wait till you hear. I mean, let me just kind of give you a list of some of the things that are going on. And I'm sure you would do that. You know, I happen to know. Um, first of all, I got to tell you, like I said, print is a global show. It happens once every four years. And there is ton of package printing and converting opportunities, equipment, technologies, education, networking on the show floor. It's just amazing. Kevin, just a few short years ago, it shows not all of the major graphic arts companies had package printing solutions. They all do now. Wait till you see them. If anybody went to Drupal last year, they're going to see even more this year. So let me tell you a couple other things that are going on. Um, as you may know, Package Printing Magazines has done a study with their subscribers of the top shows that they attend. And who would have thought print is one of the number one shows, is the number one show that subscribers of Package Printing Magazine attend. And who would have thought that, huh? Who would have thought, yep. Absolutely. And wait till you see the great stuff on the show floor. You know, there's digital, there's flexo, there's inkjet, there's offset, there's hybrid. Every technology you can imagine is out here. Get this. Over 141 new equipment and product technologies being introduced here, here first. So, if in fact, people are looking for new opportunities and new revenue streams and new applications. It's here, Kevin. So, the CPP show, the Converting Package Printing Show, is co-located at print this year. My gosh, the stars align. So, as if there wasn't enough package printing information and technology with our exhibitors, and now, now, the CPP involved, there's even more. So the great thing about that is on the show floor is FT, the FTA Best of Forum Theater. So free to folks, they're going to find in the CPP show, but on the print show floor, FTA and all of the best from their forum. It's fantastic. Kevin, we also have full seminar tracks on package printing, as does CPP seminar tracks on package printing and converting. And then, of course, we've got a couple free sessions. We've got your session, which happens Wednesday morning which is just a fantastic opportunity on how, how, to go sm how, how to be big and go small. And you can kind of fill us in more. And that the topic we chose was, or that the title for it, and you'll be able to figure out what it is, is the big, uh, what is it? The big challenge for package, and package printing is how best to go small, to talk about all those, th those innovations that are happening to help package printers adjust and, and adapt and, and work with all those shorter run lengths and shorter order times and, and, and you know, proliferation of SKUs, all that kind of stuff that gives them headaches. We're going to talk about some of the things. We got, we're going to be talking with, uh, on the panel discussion, we're going to talk with the folks from KBA, from Mitsubishi, and from, Man, or from um, uh, Mark Andy, who are conventional press manufacturers who are doing it. And when, then we even have our token digital guy coming in. Mike Ring from Zycon is going to be on the panel. Because this topic is usually focused at the digital world, we're gonna we're gonna show that hey, look, it's not just the digital guys, but the the analog guys are all working on ways to make package printing more effective to do these short runs. And I'm sure uh, the folks at CPP and and Leo's group is gonna have tons of things on the floor there, all addressing how to do things more effectively and more uh, more readily. There's no all, doubt, Kev. Yeah, uh, and what you're gonna see is everything that your panelists will be talking about. Yep. See it live. And and it'll all be there. Yep. That'll be it'll be really, really great. Now, you know, coming out of a Drupa year, it'll be great to see all those things that they were talking about at Drupa and that actually hitting the floor. So it's really, really gonna be um also I'm participating with you guys on your Asia Day and your Latin America Day, which I think Asia Day is Monday um, right. of the show, and, right. and Latin America Day is uh, is Wednesday. And we'll be talking about innovations and trends. I'll be talking with, uh, actually going to be sharing the stage with uh, Danielle Jashevsky from uh, Labels and Labeling. Um, they have a big presence in, in Latin America and in Asia. We're going to be talking about some of the trends that are going on there that are affecting uh, package printers 
um, in those regions too. So really, really excited to be part of the whole mix. Kevin, the other cool thing about that is Premier, of course, which is our organization, the research organization, will be releasing information on two major studies at that point. So this is a bonus for any attendee at Asia Day or Latin America Day. One is our package printing study, which is just about ready to release. And then the other is the worldwide market of print, which no one else does. And we're working with The Economist magazine to do that. So these folks are going to get a glimpse into some data and some growth opportunities that they would get nowhere else. Well, that, that sounds great. Chris, first, just tell me a little bit about what's going on behind you. We're, we're, still, we're still over a week away from, from the show opening, and there's all kinds of stuff happening on the floor right behind you. Really, this yeah. is a cool shot. I like this. Kevin, it, it's really exciting, and let me tell you the exciting thing about it. What else is different about print than any other show here in the United States? We've got a ton of equipment. And we've heard from package printers, commercial printers, and beyond that they want to come to one place, not just an open house, where they can see multiple manufacturers actually demonstrating their equipment. Kevin, what we did as Graphic Art Show Company is we're paying for the machinery handling at the show so they bring in even more. So to answer your question, the reason so much is going on even before Labor Day is there so much equipment on the show floor to satisfy those attendees to make sure they get to see all the opportunities on that diverse show floor. Well, that's that's great. Chris, let's cut it off now, and uh, and, and thanks. I'm going to see you in a couple of days, and uh, let's let's do this again after the show and talk about how uh, how everything went, and uh, you know all you know we can kind of list out some success stories, and and I'll talk about all the. Uh, the uh, 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 autographs that I signed and everything. So it'll be pretty, we'll, we'll have a good time with it. <laughs> it sounds good. Hey, Kev, all your viewers, of course, are invited to print and CPP. So we'll look forward to seeing you September 8th through the 12th right here at McCormick Place in Chicago. You bet. Great. Thanks, Chris. Take care.